Can you print Ninja Flex on an Ender 3? Well, let's find out. Now, typically you'd want to run Ninja Flex on a direct drive because this thing's got the consistency of wet spaghetti. And the thought process is, if you have to shove wet spaghetti through a tube, it's probably not going to work out so well. So we've done this successfully using an E3D Homero. But I've seen people successfully print with a Bowden tube setup. Now, this is not a standard Bowden tube setup. We've got a BMG dual drive extruder as well as a custom Micro Swiss hot end. One of the things I learned very quickly about this is the tension you set on your BMG is extremely important. If it's too tight and it's super easy to get it too tight, it's going to wrap around the gears just like Pet G will and then it'll clog all up in there. Now, as far as your hot end goes, we're about 240 degrees Celsius, but if we tell it to extrude some plastic, we are in fact extruding plastic. So in theory, this should work. Now, there is kind of a bounce back with its elasticity once you stop putting pressure on it. So believe it or not, I don't think retractions need to be all that heavy. Uh, we do have retractions at about three millimeters at 50 millimeters per second. And we haven't tested any print yet, but we're gonna try a Benchy and see what happens and what we can learn from it. So it is going. It definitely doesn't help when the filament wraps around the BMG getting caught and stuck so we have failed this first print so far but I'm gonna start over and try again. Alright so we finally made it past like the third layer without clogging everything and here's some things I've learned. As far as it goes on Cura uh, we reduced the retractions down from 3 millimeters to 0 0.5 which is the same we use on the E3D Hamera. So this filament does not like retractions. So minimizing that as much as you possibly can is an absolute must. And on top of that, uh, we have an installation of Cura on one computer and there's some sort of setting that brings the nozzle to the center of the bed and then outward and it does like this long retract while it does that. I don't know what setting that is, but it doesn't do that when we slice the Benchy on a different computer with Kira, the same version and all that. And uh, we no longer have that issue because uh, it was it was going like three, four millimeters of retraction doing that and that was just making this not work at all. There is a ton of little retractions on a Benchy that I didn't really think about. It should also probably be noted that we raised the temperature to 245 Celsius because we want to reduce as much pressure in the nozzle as possible too much pressure and then it's gonna make the filament wrap around the gears in the extruder that's been a common problem we've been having uh, so very very light tension it's probably the lightest tension I've ever used on a filament before but given how squishy this filament is I don't doubt that the gears are actually gripping perfectly fine in there well the benchy is almost done and despite having some stringing which that's gonna happen when you don't have a whole lot of retraction when you need a lot more but given the situation couldn't really add more retraction and the filament's kind of been sitting out for a few days this stuff from what i understand is rather hydroscopic so drying the filament could probably help that a little bit but nevertheless we have a benchy and by god turns out you don't actually need a direct drive to print ninja flex but it sure as hell helps well, the first few layers didn't bond so great, and not really sure why, but eh, it's whatever. It was more about seeing if this was even feasible. There was a whole lot of stringing and stuff, and if I upped the retractions, that would probably take care of most of it, but the retractions are kind of a problem with this filament. Still, I have a Benchy. It might not be the prettiest. But it's a squishiest.